it was this body of research that inspired me to move on and write a book about Canada and what the right to a healthy environment could do in Canada. Because our constitution doesn't even include the word environment. Our charter of rights and freedoms does not recognize our right to live in a healthy environment. And I want to give you five compelling reasons why that needs to change. First of all, as many of you will already know, Canada's environmental record is at the bottom of the pack. The second reason is that our poor environmental record is having impacts on human lives. The World Health Organization estimates that 30,000 premature deaths in Canada each year are attributable in whole or in part to environmental risk factors. The third reason is that our Constitution, by not talking about the environment, has created a real problem of uncertainty about whose job it is to protect it. The fourth reason is that Canada has three founding legal traditions. We have the French Civil Law, the English Common Law, and we have a body of Indigenous law. And this magisterial work by Professor John Boros talks about the Indigenous Constitution of Canada, which includes, as a fundamental cornerstone, environmental rights and responsibilities, and the rights of nature. Whether it's the Haida on the West Coast, the Anishinaabe in Central Canada, or the Mi'kmaq on the East Coast, all of these First Nations believe that there are both environmental rights and responsibilities. And the fifth reason why we need to change our Constitution is because Canadians deeply cherish the environment. We're proud of our great Canadian landscape. I mean, you only have to look at Molson beer commercials to know this is great. <laughs> but the David Suzuki Foundation has done polling, and over 90% of Canadians believe that the right to a healthy environment should be recognized by governments. And I'm not saying that the constitutional right to a healthy environment is a magic wand. It's not. But it is capable of leading to the kind of transformative and systemic change that we need for Canada to make sustainability a genuine priority and so that Canada can become a cleaner, greener, healthier, wealthier, and happier nation in the future. Thank you very much for your time.